Hey friends, how we doing? I hope we're all good. The lightning kind of sucks, don't it? I was trying to put you on a different spot today. <laughs> well, that didn't work. I'll put you back up in a regular spot. Yeah. All right. Well, I got two saws. One saw barking pretty good. Two. They're, uh, they're still not happy. So I'm still working on the 141 and the home light. But I'm definitely going to do some uh, carb rebuild on the uh, home light. I'm going to rebuild that, clean it up. Um, I haven't tried out the, the 1010 Auto. But the uh, Pro Mac is running pretty decent. Uh, it seems to be flooding a little bit here and there um, and it, when I say when it's flooding it's flooding so um, I'm thinking the uh, the inlet needle is uh, stuck open at times so I'm thinking a carb rebuild on that as well it don't hurt to rebuild your carb start fresh you know that's that that's always a good start so I mean it's a really good saw. Really nice. Whoopsies. <laughs> um, Ironwood, I, uh, I remember that you wanted to see the um, sprocket on these, uh, what, what's set up on it. Um, I, I'm, I will try and get a good view, but it is kind of dark in there. Maybe I'll try with my light. So, uh, let's see here. I don't know if you can see in there real real well. Oh, here we go. Yeah, I remember you wanted to see the sprocket in there. And I don't remember the name of the that sprocket, but I know what uh I know what it is. But for some reason the name is is uh leaving me I mean, i've been trying to get a my i was working a little bit on the 141 and trying to get that going so i can play around with it tomorrow uh when i go and work on my dad's tree if the weather is good uh it's a little cold here but uh the cold don't bother me once i'm up in a tree you know once you start climbing you're, you're warm so um yeah um, still working on that. I had to rebuild the spring in here in the coil. It kept slipping and popping out, and so I had to reroute the end of the coil spring and hook it back up into the little slot. It for some reason it was not the right way. It seemed like somebody messed with it. Somebody definitely messed with it. <clears throat> so I redid that because every time I go put it back together, I try to pull it and, uh, and it slips out again. It's not going back in. So the rope will just stay in my hand. <laughs> so I'm my, I'm my, and it didn't do that before the uh, last night. And so I'm like, ah, I don't know. I don't know. So I figured it out and got it situated it seems to be working all right um like i said it's been flooding so i know the needle is is not closing all the way it's not seating or and or it's just stuck open but um i blow some air through there <laughs> dry it up and it seems to work just fine once I get it, it'll, it'll start pretty easy that way. Um, but, hey, it is what it is. So, yeah, you see the other saws back there. I can't work on the 250 yet. Um, unless I splash a bunch of gas around. Um, maybe I probably try and put a little bit of gas in there. Just see if it'll roll over and uh, bark a little bit. But, yeah, I need to get a gas cap for that. But, 
the Pro Mac 1010 so far seems to be my favorite. I love the sound of it. It's got a nice little pop to it. It does smoke a little bit. So I might it might be just burning off a bunch of junk in the in the, on the top of the piston. And, or uh, need to be adjusted a little bit. So I'm going to end up finishing this up, this baby up, and get it cleaned up and blown off and all in here. And slap the bar and chain back on. Get the cover back cleaned up and back on as well. But um, so far, I mean, I think it starts within a pull or two. smoke a little bit so uh, it could be from the flooding issue uh, putting too much gas in but once it starts warming up I mean that was a cold start it's it's still pretty cold so one pull that I'm I'm pretty happy with one pull <laughs> um, but yeah it's uh, so far so good on the pro Mac not so good on the rest, but we'll get there slowly but surely. Um, funds are kind of getting a little on the short side uh, for repair for repairs and uh, getting car kits and all that. But uh, eventually I get there. No big deal. Yeah, bills got to come first, right? I just uh, paid a bunch of bills, so uh, funds are a little on the short side. But it is what it is. I need to get some more tree jobs. I mean, nobody else, nobody called back when they want to set a date on those. Uh, they said they're gonna, you know, I bid a bunch of jobs up, and they haven't really officially put a date to it. But I'm sure. I heard. Uh, Michigan might be going on another lock lockdown here soon, so maybe they're uh, oh, That's a safety chain One of the chains that came with the other saws and just yeah safety chain yeah. but uh, uh So I'm thinking people might be well, let's hold off and save some money and or whatnot, but Who knows who knows? I did get a call from my previous customer. Here, I'm gonna move you guys back up here. Ugh. I did get a call from my previous customer that I did uh, a little while back and, uh, last weekend, uh, Saturday. The, it was the second job I did that Saturday. Um, and she kind of get, kind of spread the word she said I did such a good job she referred me to another person who owns a couple uh, trailer parks um, one not too far from me a little to the east and the uh, one south and uh, they said they have uh, a lot of tree work that needs to be done and and she said she referred me so that's plus hey word of mouth is the best way to go right um, that I always uh, believe in the word of mouth. It's the best way. So, yep. Yeah, one pull on that baby. That was pretty good. It's getting a little chilly in here now. I didn't fi start a fire to tonight. I had, I had to bring it. I have to bring in a bunch of wood. I'm all out of wood in here, so. Yeah, I didn't feel like uh, hauling a bunch of wood tonight. I'm kind of sore from work today. Uh, back giving me some issues. It's almost time for do my uh, back procedure. It's the uh, lumbar lacet block or something like that, where they stick needles in your back. I get four injections down one side of the back, 
I usually start with my left because that's the worst side. So they go in between your vertebrae, around the wings of your vertebrae, and there's nerves right in, in there, and it's this little tiny groove, and they stick those needles right down in there, and uh, the tips of the needle get hot, about 90 degrees, and it's just enough to burn off the nerve. It kills the nerve. It burns it away. Uh, nerves do, do grow back, unfortunately. Mine usually grow back every uh, six months. So I go in every six months and get my back done again. So I get four done on one side. I have to wait and heal because you'll lose your feeling, um, your nerves in there. So you have to kind of learn how to use your back a little bit. It takes about a week or so. And uh, you got to go back in about, um, I usually go in at about a month after that. Um, and, but I go in the 25th. I go back the 25th, day before Thanksgiving. So I have a little bit of time, uh, uh, rest time. So usually I go back to work next, the next day. But I usually, what I've done in the past is I go on Fridays. And that way I have the weekend to recover, kind of get my bearings, and then go back to work. I'm a little on the slower side, but I do all right. I know, you guys are all crooked, aren't you? Sorry about that, friends. But yeah, I apologize for the video uploading a little late. Um, I forgot to uh, upload, so it took all day to get it uploaded because I wasn't in my Wi-Fi network, and we don't have Wi-Fi at work. It's all a direct line, so... Um, it took a little bit of time to get it up, uploaded. So I do apologize. I was trying to get it to where uh, you all see it, you know, earlier, about midday, at least midday for me here. So yeah, I apologize. I hang the chain up real quick. Ugh. Yeah, that's definitely an 18 inch. So. Yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much where I'm standing at right now. It's just mainly getting carb kits. I gotta get carb kits. I did order one for the home light, um, which I'm pretty excited about that. That one's that's pretty nice. I noticed the um, bar oil leaks all over the place. It's all over my floor. I have to get up early in the morning. I'm going to get my other saws, my my tree my tree working saws, you know, my uh, my my regular stuff. I have to get them all uh, cleaned up. Well, they're cleaned up. They're just I need to sharpen the chains, so I'm gonna have to go through and sharpen those and get them all ready and set. And oh oh, and I do have um. A new bar to put on my my top handle my my no name top handle saw no brand <laughs> hey it works good it actually works pretty good uh, for being a it's probably China made I don't like buying China stuff uh, China made stuff but at the time when I bought it that I didn't have a lot of money and I wanted to get back up in a tree and relearn all that stuff and relearn my climbing and so yeah I and I did my my little magic to it and tweaked it muffler mod and um, timing events and what else did I do to it change the timing muffler and I believe I did something to the carb. I don't remember exactly what I did, but I did something to uh, get a little more out of it. So, yep, that's where I'm standing at. So, yeah, uh, it's got a nice, got a nice chain, like I said before, and it got a nice chain. It, it, it must have been new. They must have just put it on there. 
because uh, it doesn't even look sh like it has maybe been sharpened once. Let me take a look here. Okay, it's been sharpened once. Maybe twice. They didn't get the gullet. They didn't get the gullet. <laughs> As Buckin would say. I never really pay attention too much of the gullet until I uh, start watching Buckin. Buckin doing his thing and but yeah anyway got the cover here need to get it cleaned up it's a little dirty in there still a little bit of oil so I'm in the in the bar see this saw must have been running not long ago they must have had the flooding issue like I said and must have gave up on it or the um or they just Gave up on and just either person passed away or something. I don't know. Whatever reason people put stuff in auctions to just get rid of or something. Um, but it did have this uh, Oregon chain uh, or Oregon bar. Oh, this is three eighths. Well, it looks bigger for some reason. The chain looks bigger than three eighths. But yeah, it's just a sixteen inch, which I think is way under for this saw, this power head, which is kind of disappointing. I was uh, in the auction; it actually was listed. All these saws, why I bid on them, were all twenty inch bars. So, uh, that I wanted to get bigger bars for my saws, because I don't have a lot of big saws. Actually, I don't have any big bar saws, so I wanted some bigger bars. Unfortunately, I'm just going to have to break down and buy uh, new, some bars, uh, sprockets, and chains, and, and all that, unfortunately. But, it is what it is. But, um, yeah, I'm thinking I'm going to stick with this Pro Mac for a little bit. Um, and probably the other 1010 just to, um, just to do my, my normal work. Yeah, this is fairly decent saw, or, uh, bar. Um, I like these uh, replaceable um, nose brackets. This bar is made out of chromoly. Chromoly is the strongest and lightest metal you can get. So anything made out of chromoly is worth it. And knowing that Oregon has chromoly bars. I'm very happy about that. It puts me at the ease because I love chromoly. Chromoly is what we use in our roll cages in our in our uh, our cars, our uh, pro touring cars. That's what I do a lot of builds on. Um, so yeah, that's very strong metal, very strong and very lightweight for being as strong as it is. So knowing that they have. Chromoly bars, that's that's great. So, yeah, I'm going to put that on there, maybe play around with it tomorrow, and I'm hoping to get some video footage and tree work. And my cousin came up with her husband, uh, actually tonight they did. So, I don't know how much tree work I'm going to get done or video footage, because when she comes up, it's usually party time. So I'm probably going to have a few beers and don't know if I'll be making a video because I don't want to make no, no, uh, uh, instead of drunk calls, you know, I don't want no drunk videos. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I know I don't usually get drunk very often, so I just like to drink to chill and nice, steady. Just, I, I'm, I'm a relaxer, relaxing dr dr drinker, so that's... I like, that's the only reason why I drink. Yep. Yeah. So, anyway.
Yeah, I'll just give you a little update on everything. Um, I did have had to go back into the um, Pro Mac here and reset the coil gap, air gap on it. I, I'm pretty sure I said it in the last video, so probably going to have to do the same to the other 1010. And uh, I did do the same check, went back to the points of the 141 and reset those. That's the only reason why it did start. Um, I don't know if I get it started again, but I could try. Too bad. So yeah, it shouldn't take that much. So yeah, there's still there's still something going a little goofy here with this. I'll figure out what it is, but probably got to go back into the uh, timing and the points and all that and recheck. I do know I get it started with a little ether. Let me try that. I need another can because I... Lost my thing at the top to it. Oh, I use it off a different one and don't fit right. It squirts all over the place. Yeah, don't want to stay running. I did have it running though for a while. Being picky. Yep, I'll figure it out though. I'll figure it out. So anyway, yeah, I don't know. I'll uh, go ahead and clean all this other stuff up, and I'll uh, catch you guys back real quick. Okay? Excuse me. All right, be right back. All right, friends, I'm back. I'm back. As you can see, right here. Nasty stuff here. Now, this is the uh, 110. Or, uh, sorry, 110. <laughs> the 1010. The other 1010. Um, I'm already uh, did a little inspection on it. I did get the other one cleaned up. Got the bar back on. So, yeah, looks real nice. Uh, short bar. 16 inch not a big fan of it but hey it'll get it'll get in some wood so yeah I'm pretty excited getting in getting into that one now this 1010 it's bad it's she's in rough rough shape folks rough shape Yeah, I can get her down here. I got her clamped up in the uh, vise. Now, first thing when I do my inspections, I'll, I like to look in the gas tank. And under the uh, cover here. Now, I haven't got that far into the cover yet. It's um I mean it, it seems to be everything working okay. Pop tilt 
filter don't look too bad. Actually, the filter looks pretty decent, especially compared to the other ones. Now, I looked into the gas tank. I don't know if you... It's hard to show you in the video here. It's pretty nasty. I looked into the tank. Got my little handy dandy laid out. Looked into the tank. First thing I did, I pulled this out. Okay, now this actually goes into the bottom of the cap. That's what it looks like anyway. I don't think this is the original cap. But we'll make it work. We'll uh, clear out the air passage, which lets air into the tank as you're using the fuel. Now, I looked into the tank, and it is bad. It's bad. It needs to be cleaned out. Thankfully, this is a small tank. Won't be too big of a deal. I was hoping there was some screws here. Where is it? Oh, there is a screw here. Okay, so I'll end up taking this cover. I'm going to take the handle off and taking the top of this cover off. I'm going to make a new gasket for it, um, which isn't no big, big of a deal. I got the stuff for it. Now, the other issue I saw... I'm not uh, too happy with this one. Now, I grab the chain, right? You know, I kind of feeling around the chain. I was trying to spin it, and uh, I ain't got nothing. There's nothing. Now, there, there's no... Uh, no lock on the chain, on the sprocket. So, that tells me it's been sitting for a while, right? Okay. But other than that, it don't look too bad. Looks pretty clean under there. So I'm pretty happy about that. Only thing is, it's been sitting. She's been sitting. So it looks like the paint on the inside is coming off. All kinds of debris in there. All kinds of debris. All kinds of stuff into the little filter there. I'll set that out to the side. We gotta clean that. Now I'm gonna shove that back in there for right now. No, actually, that was a bad idea. I don't want no debris getting into the into that line. That was a bad idea. Don't do that. Okay. Now the chain don't move. It's it don't move very it don't move freely. Now the oil pump. I don't know if there's any oil in there, but oh yeah. Now the oiler works. Yeah, it's pumping oil. Okay, that's good. That's good. So we don't have to get into that. But, something is stuck in there, so I'm going to have to take the cover off, get the bar off, get the chain off. The chain is, it looks in good condition. The bars are, I don't, I can't, the bar's definitely been used. It's been used and abused. Don't know whether it's been flipped or not until I get into it, but. I feel a little burr on the side, on the top, <clears throat> so I don't think it might have been flipped. So, with that said, I'm going to have to tear into the tank, get it cleaned up. I could do it, just take the bar, the handlebar off, and dump the gas out, 
spray it out, blow it out. But yeah, there's a little bit of fuel in there. It don't smell bad. But uh, looks like somebody stuck a washer in here. There's a washer in here. <laughs> there it is. It's a washer. It's a washer at the end of it. That's a washer. I don't know if there's supposed to be a washer in there. I don't recall a washer being. That's just a regular washer. I don't recall a washer supposed to be in there, but. Yeah, it definitely needs to be cleaned out and inspect on the sprocket why that's not turning. That's probably why this is having a hard time. Ugh. Rolling over. Probably because it's seized up on this uh, other side here. So, yeah. Model 660002. This is one of the earlier ones off the, off the line. I uh, go by that, right? So yeah, I'm gonna have to go into that. I was just watching uh, Bucking on Instagram. There, he put a little, posted a little video on there about his daughter, uh, which is pretty cool. She's gonna start selling artwork. So if you guys are on Instagram, make go over there and check it out. He he put a link on that video to her Instagram and start to sell her artwork. Which is pretty cool. I'm an artist myself. Um, a long time ago, I used to do uh, tattoos. I did a lot of drawing and tattoos, and I did all that for a little while. Still got the stuff, so I, I could still do it. Ah, you guys are all dirty. You got a glare going on here. Sorry, let me clean you off. There you go. That's a a little better. Next time I have to clean that up. Huh? Maybe I'll angle, angle your down a little bit so you don't have that glare going. Still got a little bit, but I apologize. So yeah, that's where we're getting into this one next. So so far, I uh, end up taking both sides of the covers off and uh, digging in a little deeper. Probably got to clean them out. I'm sure there's all kinds of stuff in there. If it's anything like the other one. This one has got a longer bar, it looks like. I'm pretty sure. I get that. 16. This one's a... Uh, I don't know. That was wrong. It's got a 16-inch bar on it, too. Maybe that was common. It's a McCulloch bar on there. Can't really tell now, but you can still see Mac on there. But yeah, um, so yeah, that's where it goes into this one. I don't think I'm gonna roll this one over yet, especially with the gas tank being as nasty as it is. So, um, all right, well, I'll let y'all go and hope y'all have a good night. I'm also gonna go through and check the air gap on this side this one as well um, make sure everything's all good so when I do I get everything cleaned up uh, it'd be an easy start if everything's good in this car too so that being said I will let y'all go y'all have a good night a good day good morning whatever Whenever you see this, you'll uh, you have to be sure to have a good rest of the day, and the following day after that, and then after that, and after that, and so forth. Also, I'm going to make a another uh, ring here. I made one for the other one. I got some cork material. I have to make another one. So, guess that. Guess uh cap oh seal properly get it cleaned up too 
So, anyway, y'all have a good night. I hope to see you again in the next video. And, yeah, that's that. Hope y'all have a good night, good day. Be kind, be safe, and spread the love. Right. Love y'all.